Hi, in this tutorial, I am going to talk about the execute to process task uh, within control of law. Uh, this task used to execute uh, like an application uh, uh, within SSIS, like uh, for example, the Word, the Excel, the PowerPoint, and it can be used to execute uh, custom applications developed by uh, VB.NET, uh, C Sharp.NET can also pass the parameters and receive uh, output uh, values to uh, variables and uh, in this uh, and remember uh, this execute uh, process task only uh, dealing with the files with end extension with .exe .com or .cmd uh, or .bat in this example i will going to show you how to create a folder uh, running uh, this uh, task. This folder it's available. Let me go to the PC and let me see right here. I'm going to just for a quick put on my. I'm gonna delete this folder. I'm going to create a folder inside uh, this folder. SIS so what do you have to do here double click to the execute process task let me name it here as uh, create folder this is our um, uh, page where we want to uh, put our uh, file path and uh, everything we want to uh, in order to get our goal uh, here where i want to add the executable file which is, I have it uh, in my PC. It's it's available in the PC. This file, it's C, the path of the file, Windows, slash, System, 32, CMD, dot, exe. And, Oops, this one is supposed to be an executable. And here where I will uh, add my code in order to create my uh, folder. Start with C, backward slash, and here, oops, I need to... M K this one it's a static if you want to create any folder let's mean uh, make uh, directly and you have to provide the path of your folder or director okay. say yes new folder SSIS if we go back here this folder is not no longer exist and after I execute uh, the execute process task uh, this folder is supposed to be uh, execute uh, created so let's see it's done and go here it's just created uh, the new folder SIS. So this is how I use the execute process task. I can use it also to um, to do multiple things, as I mentioned, like uh, execute patches, files, or PowerShell scripts. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching my video, and see you for next videos. Thank you.